Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the midwinter blanket. Now every winter I find myself gravitating to these uh, thick and super bulky weight yarns, especially the wool blends. So this is a blank that I've designed using a uh, line brand thick and quick yarn, which is a wool blend yarn. You can see it has a very subtle texture, very clean lines, which makes this, uh, in my opinion, a fairly modern looking blanket. It's going to suit a variety of decors. It is a very heavy blanket because it is worked with solid stitches and in a solid pattern and it is also a very warm blanket so if you uh, enjoy cooler temperatures as I do this is a perfect blanket for you to have around your home. For this pattern you are going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook as well as a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. You're also going to need approximately eight balls of the Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn by Lion Brand or a super bulky weight yarn. So that's the yarn with the number six on the label, the super bulky weight yarn of your choice and of course your color of choice. The free written pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and it is a free pattern there for you. While you're here, please don't for forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I like to update that weekly with free patterns and stitch tutorials. So now that we have all of our materials together, let's get started and make this midwinter blanket. Okay, welcome back. So the pattern that we are working today um, I will be working it here in this super bulky weight gray yarn uh, of the Woolies and it measures approximately 50 inches by 54 inches. Now today in this video I am only going to be making a small swatch of the pattern so quite a smaller version of it just so you can get an idea of how to work uh, the two very simple stitches that are involved and the pattern itself. So if you are working the pattern from the written instructions that I've provided and the notes are there in this in the video uh, and the link is there, sorry, in the video notes, um, you are going to begin by chaining 120 chains. Today I am going to only chain about 15. So if you are following along on the pattern, chain 120. If you would like to change the size of your blanket, you can chain any number of chains, odd or even, and you will add one chain to your starting chain. So here, once you have chained your 120 chains and or the desired number, you're going to begin by placing a half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. So count in, there's one and two and you're going to half double crochet to half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the second chain from your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is your half double crochet. You will then work one half double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you are going to chain one and turn your work. So you're now working in the opposite direction. For row two, you are going to work in the back loop only. So to find the back loop only, you're going to turn your work up so you can see uh, the V's on the tops of your stitches. So these right here. To work in the back loop only, instead of 
when you normally work a stitch, you would normally uh, insert your hook under both of those top loops. When you're working in the back loop only, you're only going to insert your hook under the loop that the horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. That is your back loop. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. So working in the back loop only, insert your hook and drop a loop and then draw it through the loop that's on your hook. That is a slip stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working in the back loop only, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop, and draw that loop through the loop that's on your hook. That is a slip stitch, so you're going to slip stitch all the way across, working in the back loop only. When you come to the end of row two, don't forget to work your final slip stitch in that final stitch. For this blanket, you will always have the same number of stitches, 119, um, at the, at, in each row. Okay, so don't forget to work in that final stitch. Then at the end of row two, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now for rows three and four, you are going to repeat exactly what you did for row two. So looking at the top of your stitches there, looking at those V's, find your back loop. You're going to be working in the back loop only all the way across and you're going to slip stitch once again in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row three, you will chain one, turn your work, and repeat that step again for row four. In the back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row four, you will chain one and turn your work. I just want to pull back here and I'll just show you what your slip stitches have done. So you can see this is your row of half double crochets down here at the bottom and then your three rows of slip stitches which kind of give you this raised uh, row of texture here that almost looks like it's knit. Uh, it just gives you some uh, nice subtle texture and again those clean lines. Okay, so that is at the end of row four. Now for row five, you are going to continue working in the back loop only, except this time you are going to half double crochet in your back loop only. So for your half double crochet, once again, yarn over in that first stitch, insert your hook under the back loop only, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you're going to repeat that all the way across half double crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way to the end of your row. Now at the end of row five, you're going to once again chain one and turn your work. Now if you take a look at your work, you can see that that row of half double crochet stitches has really made those three rows of slip stitches really pop. So you're going to see that uh, all throughout your blanket. Now from now on in the pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows two to five until your work measures approximately 54 inches from the beginning. So it's just that simple, repeat these steps that we've just done here, rows two to five, uh, until your work measures about 54 inches. And then you are going to fasten off and weave in your ends. And then if you decide to, you can add your fringe. So right now, I'm just going to show you quickly how I added my fringe to my piece, okay? What I did was taking my measuring tape, I measured uh, pieces of yarn that were about 13 inches long. Okay, for each tassel that I made, 
uh, across my blanket, I used uh, two to three strands, and each strand was about 13 inches long. Then taking those two strands, holding them together, I started with my end stitch and I simply looped or pushed those two strands through that bottom stitch. Use your crochet hook if you need a little bit of help, but um, you should be okay. So you're just going to pull them through. And then for me, just to make a very simple, very easy tassel, I simply tied a knot. So I held all four strands together, wrapped them around my finger, pulled four strands through, and then pulled that knot up so that it was tight and flush up with the end of my blanket. So that's it there. If you would like longer tassels, you can certainly lengthen or shorten. I always make them a little bit longer than I intend to have on the blanket because once you're finished making your tassels, you're going to go and you're going to trim them so that they're all even. And then after my first one, I spaced them so that there was about one stitch in between. So if I had my first tassel here on the end, I skipped the stitch, the next stitch, and then I placed one tassel in the next one. So if you uh, only picked up uh, seven balls, uh, bonus bundles of that uh, thick and quick yarn, it's about 212 yards per ball. You are going to need an extra 200 yards in order to make your fringe along the bottom using the measurements that I have used. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me for this quick tutorial on how to make the midwinter blanket. Uh, if you complete the project, please be sure to come on over to Facebook, uh, find me on Instagram, tag, you can tag me there, and I'd love to see your finished projects. Until then, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you soon. Happy crocheting! Bye!